guys. Uh, we're going to be starting a little unit here on the instruments that are commonly played in bands. A lot of you are in the fifth grade. You're getting into decision season for which classes you're going to take in middle school. And I wanted to let you know a little bit about the different instruments that are available when you get there that you can learn how to play. So today's video is going to be about the brass family. The brass instruments all have a couple things in common. They all are made of brass. They all have a mouthpiece that goes on the outside of your mouth that is played by buzzing into the mouthpiece. And um, they're, they're all wonderful. So let's get started and we're gonna learn a little bit first about the trumpet. Okay, so the trumpet is a piston-valved brass instrument. Um, I love this little uh, meme about the trumpet. If you like being the center of attention, the trumpet might be the instrument for you. Uh, trumpets end up an awful lot with the melody. They end up on the 50-yard line at football games. Um, and they do have a reputation of uh, having pretty big egos because they are the center of attention an awful lot. Um, there's, there's some jokes about trumpet players, but, you know, maybe I'll, I'll tell you guys those little jokes here in a little bit. The trumpet is a piston valved brass instrument, which means that the keys go up and down and the valves move up and down. And as they change, um, they open up different lengths of tubing within the instrument, which allow you to play different partials. And inside of these partials, you can play different notes. Okay, here's a girl, she's about your age. She's gonna come on out and she's gonna play the trumpet. Uh, she's playing, I think, in Milan, and she really it was only 10 years old when this recorded. She's a bit of a prodigy, so uh, let's see how beautifully she plays for trumpet. Oh.
Okay, so that is the trumpet. It is our piston valve instrument, the soprano instrument of the brass family, played with a cupped mouthpiece, has three keys, and it has those piston valves and uh, reeds in the treble clef. Okay, guys, we're moving on to the next instrument in the brass family. So we started with our highest playing instrument, the trumpet, and now we're moving down to our next instrument. It's considered the alto voice of the brass family, and it is called the French horn or simply the horn. Now, um, a lot of horn players will tell you that the word French is kind of superfluous, but if you talk to a lot of lay people, if you say, oh, I play the horn, they'll say, oh, the French horn, because that's kind of how it's colloquially known. Um, the horn is different from the trumpet in a couple of really significant ways. Um, number one, instead of being a piston brass instrument where the buttons go up and down, when you push a button on a horn, it's a rotary valve, which means that the valve actually turns. And this opens up different lengths of tubing, which allows you to play different partials, which allows you to play different notes. Now, some cool things about the horn. Um, if you are ever in danger, a horn is going to come and save you, y'all, because in the movies, in operas, in most of music history, if something heroic was happening, that melody was given to the horns. And I think when you hear it played, you're going to see why. Um, so I love this little Chuck Norris meme that says, conductor asked for fortissimo, mothers hide their children because horns can play very, very loudly. Um, horn players can also have a reputation for being, you know, just a little silly. Um, I don't actually know what's going on in this picture, but it cracks me up. All right, so speaking of the horn, this dude is gonna play his horn outside for you, um, and you're gonna kind of hear those beautiful, kind of heroic qualities of the horn sound in this video. As you watch this video, check out one of the cool things about the horn, which is that your hand goes inside the bell when you play. You are physically part of the instrument. The instrument doesn't play right without your hand, which is so cool.
One more horn video. Um, I told you that horn players can tend to be a little bit silly. And here's the proof. <laughs> Okay guys, and next instrument we're going to talk about is called the trombone. And the trombone is unique in the brass family because it is the only instrument that has a slide. This is what the trombone looks like, and this is funny because it says slide to play. Because when you play the trombone, you literally use your right hand to lengthen or shorten the instrument, which allows you to play in different partials, which allows you to play in different pitches. So it is the only instrument that has this feature that is used in the modern band. Um, the trombone, has a cup mouthpiece just like the other brass instruments and it's considered the tenor voice of the brass family it plays lower than the horn and lower than the trumpet and it does read in the bass clef okay so we're going to watch a little video right now so that we can hear a bit about what the trombone can do Hello, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing because I do a new video every single Saturday. Last week I did a new original tune called Nasichts, and next week I'm revealing my introduction for the 25 Days of Christmas 2015. Uh, I'll be doing a new holiday tune every single day in December leading up until Christmas. Okay, so that was our first trombone video, um, and I know you noticed how he was moving the slide as he played. Apparently this guy's got a lot of free time, so here's another video he did of the Pharrell Williams song, Happy.
Okay, next instrument in the brass family that we're gonna learn about today is called the baritone or the euphonium. And they are slightly different instruments, but we're not gonna get into that all right now. Parts are usually written for baritone or euphonium. This is a piston valve brass instrument. And when you look at it, you might think to yourself, it looks like a little tuba. I know that it does, uh, but they have a very different timbre and they have a very different function in the band. This is a tenor instrument, much like the trombone, and in middle school especially, um, you're gonna find a lot of trombone and euphonium parts written together, but um, especially as you get older, those parts do separate. So here's a little picture of a cat playing the euphonium. He's super cute. All right, and let's hear what euphoniums can do. Hi, we're quarantined, and today we're gonna play Super Mario Brothers, the main theme. One, two. So that's our euphonium, another piston valved low brass instrument. All right, we're going on to the largest member of the brass family that is commonly used in band. And um, this is the tuba, and it is another usually piston valve brass instrument. So they do make some that are rotary valve, like the horn. Um, this one cracks me up, kid sleeping in the tuba case. And I don't actually know what's going on right here, but I think it's pretty funny. All right, so a little bit of tuba for us. Let's see. This video right here is why my personal child plays the tuba. He saw this when I made this presentation years ago, um, and he just loved it. It does go on for a while, so we'll just watch a little bit of this.
So that was our tuba, the lowest member of our brass family that is commonly used in bands. Um, as you can see, it looked an awful lot like the euphonium or the baritone. Um, and it's true, they do look an awful lot alike, but their function in band is different and um, their size is most certainly different. Um, very, very cool instrument. <laughs> 